Welcome to Flare Thermal Studio. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at uh, creating a new reporting template. To create uh, a new template, what we need to do is click at the top left and click click New. And then as we scroll down, we can create a new reporting template. So you can see we've got a clear screen here. We've got a toolbar across the top. We've got quite a few tools. Um, we've got a document properties. We've got a, a formula editor, which I'm just going to go into and show you. If I click on that, we've got a, a series of formulas. Now, this uh, function, this enables you to create your own formula and then use that formula from the thermal images in the actual template or the final report. Um, I'm just showing you this now. And uh, if you need to create a, create a formula, this is where you do it. We've also got a, another function here in the same tools box, and it's called a text annotation template. And this enables you to assign uh, uh, labels and values to the thermal images that you take. I'm going to click on this. I, I've got two here already. I've got an example one uh, template, and I've got a, a cat one. This is used for category one training. If you need to create a template, you can uh, create a template just by uh, clicking the button there, and it, it's fairly self uh, explanatory, you put in uh, labels and values. So we've got a blank page. If we move over now to the insert image, um, we can sort of, we've got a thermogram, uh, a thermal image button, and what I've done is just put a thermal image on the page. And next to that, I've also got a, a daylight picture. Um, and, and it's really easy to, to, to build the report as we go. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna move the daylight picture under the thermal because I want to add a few other components. From um, the plot component here, what I'm going to do is put a map in. So any of the images with uh, uh, GPS coordinates, it will show where they are on the map. And I'm also going to input uh, a profile function. And this will only become active if we use a line or a profile in the image. So you can see to the right hand side, we can configure all of the components or the tools that we put on the page. And if I if I double click on the infrared image, I'm just gonna go up to the tools button here and I'm just gonna include a line. Okay, just a line. So we can, we've got a representation of um, the profile. And I'm also gonna put in a, an area box and a, uh, some spots. Just so that we, when we look at a, a results table, we've we've got a uh, some results in there. Okay. So what I need to do is save those, and I need to close that. Moving down a little bit, so we've got a profile, we've got a daylight picture, we've got a thermal picture. I want to include some data tables. Um, we've got a lot of configurable tables here, but the easiest way is to add um, predefined tables from the toolbar. And this is a parameters table. I'm just going to add three different tables here. I'm going to put a measurements table in, um, and that's already uh, started to complete itself from the the, uh, the measurements uh, we've put on there. And I'm going to put in um, the camera information type table here. So I can move this around. Uh, we can configure the page um, as we want to see it. Now, moving down a bit, we've got some blank area. If, if it's okay to have blank areas on a report page, you, you don't have to fill it with lots of uh, statistical data. But um, let's put in just a generic text box. And what this means is that um, you will be able to um, just type in, you'll have a box, a type in, you know, text, um, you know, for the report. And if you move over to the right hand side, um, we can select a border color or a background color and configure this uh, text box to how we want it to look. I'm just going to include another one, just uh, another one here. And just moving down, I'm just going to write something in here. So I'll just double click and I'm just going to write in recommendations. And what I can do then is uh, I can move that and put that within the, uh, the text box.
If we look at the top, I've got a, a logo tool. So what I can do is insert uh, a logo in the image. Um, okay, it's a little bit big, but what we can do, we can move that up the page and, and resize that. So uh, when I generate my report, I can put the logo in um, where I want it to be. I'm just going to resize this a little bit. It doesn't need to be a too, too much of a dominant feature on the page. And I'm just going to put a heading on here. I'm going to put in a little text box and uh, just move that up the screen just so that we can put in a, that this is a, a tutorial template and, and not a full-blown professional template. Okay, so I'm just going to double click on here and uh, just going to call it Thermal Studio Training. If I want to configure the text, let's uh, just enlarge the text box a little bit and um, if I, if I go over to the side here, I can configure the size. So let's put it to a 20 font and I can configure the alignment. You know, where's it going to sit within that text box? And I can even change the color uh, of that if I want to. What other type of fields do we have? We've got a data text field here. Um, this is quite a nice field because if I put a data box in, we can have it anywhere on the page and if we go up to insert thermal field, this group of tools here, what I can do is I can specify what data I want to go into that uh, that data box. So it could be, you know, the camera uh, serial number. Okay, it's going to come up as uh, a generic number, but it, it uh, once you put a thermal image in there, it will uh, display the correct uh, serial number. It may be. Um, a text annotation it may be a parameter so let's say okay well it's going to be the emissivity and we can put that on there we can also uh, include page numbers and document numbers and uh, and things like that and even from the formula if um, if we have a data another data box we're just going to move it down so we can see what it is and we click on the formula tab here um, what we can do is select the formula that we want to use from the formulas that we've predefined um, within the software. So I'm just going to choose a very simple one here, um, difference in temperature uh, between two spot meters. And I've put two spots on that image so we can, uh, we should be able to get a result. So double click on that um, and it should give us a, uh, it should give us a reading here. So configuring the page is important. You, you can make the page appear as you want it to, and um, even when you're creating a report, you still have the ability to change the way the page appears. You can delete tables. You can you can add things from the toolbar.